You're, you're, you're tuned into the stellar, stellar award winning internet radio station. You're at the right place at the right time. Yes, Lord Radio. Hold up. Wait just a minute. It's Roz on your radio. Yo. Keep it locked right here. Showcase fellowship inspired. Show, 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 show. show. Showcase. Hey, it's Roz on the radio. Show, 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 showcase. Showcase fellowship inspired. Yes, Lord Radio. Now it's time for another Yes, Lord Radio exclusive. Hey, everybody, it's Roz on the radio, and you're listening to another YLR exclusive. My guest today is gospel recording artist Jonathan Nelson, who's sharing his latest single with us today. But first, thanks so much, Jonathan, for joining us today. Thank you so much. Now, uh, you and your twin brother, Jason Nelson, are both gospel recording artists. So I was wondering, is this the path that you two uh, had chosen for yourselves when you were growing up? Not at all. I was talking to a friend this past weekend, and I was just telling them, you know, growing up in a small, um, a rather small church, um, my father's a uh, good old-fashioned Pentecostal preacher, and uh, mm-hmm. we knew nothing about the music industry, no formal training in that area. Uh, however, we had always been uh, driven musically because as pastor's kids, you know, right. we have this thing called all-purpose. You know, <laughs> there's no one there to clean the toilet seats and vacuum the church, rake the leaves <laughs> out of the church. You know, that was us. And then wow. after that was over. We were part of the usher board. <laughs> we were part of the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, we did everything. We were part of the usher board. We sang the choir. I, I, you know, when I was younger, I played, you know, the, the piano, the organ for the church. Jason played the, the bass, and my other brother played the drums. My sister directed the choir. It was a family affair from that perspective. Wow. And I guess, I guess all of that was just preparation for, you know, that which we are experiencing right now. But we never really prepared for this or really anticipated that God will have us do this, other than us going to, you know, school for music growing mm-hmm. up. But we praise God that he's done this thus far. Wow. Well, these are the things that we never get to hear about, having to clean toilets and all of that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I would, I would, well, I don't know if I want to say gladly, but I would go back to assisting and helping, you know, whatever, my, whatever you know, our hands found to do mm-hmm. at church death we're doing. That's what we did. Tell us a little bit about your role in ministry um, at your own church. Well, I relocated to the uh, the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, and uh, my church is actually in in an area in that pocket called Sunrise, um, Mm -hmm. the faith center. Bishop Henry Fernandez is my pastor, and I now serve as a minister of music and worship leader at the church. And it's it's been a joy. It's been a pleasure. It's been a joy ride. It's just been a phenomenal experience. Every Sunday, something is different about the worship experience. God moves in a mighty way. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been here three years now. Um, I'm working on my fourth, and I absolutely love living here in Florida now. Wonderful. Now, Expect the Great from your last project was and is still such a powerful song that has really made an impact on so many people. So I know that praise and worship teams and choirs, they're all excited that you're back with some more great music. But you guys recorded the CD Project Live this past May, right? We did, yes, yes. Okay, tell us about the recording and the project and what our listeners can expect. Well, you know, um, between Expect the Great and this project, I was with Integrity Music and um, that contract ended and I'm now with Peru Records. Um, owned by Karen Clark Sheard and her great husband, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, yes. along with Kiera and the team and J. Drew, the son. Um, I signed with them in January, actually, uh, during the Stella weekend. And um, mm-hmm. and uh, this year has just been a great journey of picking back up the pieces and kind of putting it all together. And God gave me, you know, a concept of finish strong, you know, no matter what. Um, you've been, you've, you've faced, you've dealt with, um, no matter what your assignment is in life. You know, some of us n- may not necessarily start well. We've looked at the Olympics. Some people didn't have great starts, but they finished well. They right. finished strong. Right. And so for me, I feel like that is what God is telling me to say to the people of God in this season. No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what the circumstance, keep on pressing, keep on moving. you got to finish strong. you got to mm-hmm. finish this thing. Jesus completed the work on the cross, thus we have to finish our assignment. And so my message to the people of of God right now is to finish strong. And so that's what everything 
dealt with and focused on when we recorded back in May. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So tell us when can we expect the CD project? We don't, I don't, you know, I don't have a release date just yet. You know, we've okay. been talking about the January time frame. I know it's going to be early 2013. I just don't have a specific date just yet. Um, but the single is the single is now at radio, and uh, I'm excited about it. We're getting some really, really good feedback on the single Finish Strong. It is a wonderful single, just like all the other ones that you've done. But tell us a little bit about the production of Finish Strong. Well, you know what? Um, I wanted to have I wanted to have this um, this thing that it reverberates in your spirit. Like if you're in a room, you get just bouncing back and forth, and just kind of keeps reminding you, almost like um, if you can imagine yourself being trained by a trainer or being in a race, Mm -hmm. you know, you have this, you have this, this willpower that kind of goes in your mind, like, oh my God, I'm so close to the finish line. So we wanted to have this infectious kind of chant thing that we have in the the production, you know, it says strong, finish, strong, because it's like that thing, I feel like that's like the trainer inside your mind, like, don't you give up, you bet not, you're too close to the finish line, (laughs) you know, you're too close to your assignment being, being done. And uh, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to have the music kind of accompany that. So, you know, we had the guitar and the horns and all that kind of just reminding people to to finish strong. And um, my group purpose is is in the background. And Mm -hmm. I I co-produced the whole record with uh, a gentleman by the name of Kenneth Shelton, who's an amazing, amazing musician. And we have Mm -hmm. um, Rick Watford on guitar. Uh, Phil Lasseter on horns again. My group purpose in the background, and it just really, really came together. And I'm just excited about it. Just excited about it. Wonderful. Well, I think it's a song that everybody can relate to. Anybody that's going through any type of struggle certainly can relate to this. Anybody that's dealing with any type of faith test. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us how this song has ministered to you, um, as far as faith test or struggles or things that you are working on completing? You know what? Can I just tell you this? The, the yes. truth of the matter is I am I'm, I'm walking out the lyrics of the song in my life right now. Even at the recording, if I was recording, we had some technical difficulties. Never in my career have we had this many technical difficulties as it relates to starting and stopping. Um, most people that do live recordings, you know, it really, we like for it to be a seamless journey because yes. it's a live recording. You know that there are some technical things that you have to anticipate. Um, but at one point, the computer just locked up on us. It didn't crash. Wow. It just locked up. So we lost 20 minutes. And um, then we had um, issues with a couple of the microphones. I mean, it just kept, it just kept, um, stuff just kept flaring up. And mm-hmm. um, I was, I was getting frustrated. And I really, um, unfortunately, but it was good. That I, I kind of did it from this perspective. I exposed my frustration to the audience, you know. And uh, Prophetess Juanita Bonham happened to be at the live recording. She was sitting in the audience, and mm-hmm. she just hollered out. She said, Jonathan, finish strong. She said, that's what the whole message is, finish strong. So at wow. that point, it was, like, um, it was like the Holy Spirit just stood up in me, and I could just feel, because, you know, like when she get that, she got that prophetic voice, and when she just mm-hmm. started, you know, just she just changed the atmosphere. Yes. And literally, I could feel strength coming to me, and I could feel the whole concept coming alive. Like, this is what it's all about. What yes. your assignment is. So my assignment for that night was to do a live recording. I'm getting frustrated because of all of the circumstances surrounding the live recording. Yes. But then I'm, I'm preaching the sermon to the audience, finish strong. And God showed me that I had to live out, live it out. So that is something, you know, it's just a small scenario, but whatever it is, I don't care how big or minute it may seem, mm-hmm. whatever it may be, you got to finish strong. Absolutely. Well, guys, we're getting ready to play Finish Strong, but before we do, and this is something that we always do on YLR, um, I want you guys to share your comments about Finish Strong. Tell me about any struggles or any faith tests that you've had and how this song has ministered to you. You can do that by visiting us on the YLR Shop Box. Uh, Meet us on our Yes What Radio Facebook page and always join me on Twitter.com and Facebook.com slash Roz on the radio. Jonathan, how can everybody stay connected to you? Okay, y'all can find me on Instagram at Nelson Jonathan. You can find me on Twitter, twitter Twitter.com forward slash at Nelson Jonathan, my name backwards. You can hit me on Facebook, uh, Jonathan Nelson and Purpose on my fan page. Please hit me up. My website, www.com. JonathanNelson.us. Hit me up. I am on Twitter. It's me. It's not a ghost. It's me, y'all. <laughs> I want to hear your comments. 
I pray that Finish Strong blesses everybody. I pray that people really embrace it. And let me just say this, Ross. It yes. really is interesting um, when, you, when you're doing new music, you know, how you're going to the next branding message that God yes. has given you. I just pray that it will just get in people's spirits that are germinate, that it will really cause them to really believe that they can finish strong. One of the lyrics says, I'm going to have a strong finish because I have strong faith. Hey. And I'm hoping and praying that, you know, people's faith will be increased, you know, throughout the process of listening to the song. And I pray that it blesses the world. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, again, for joining us. And guys, uh, we're getting ready to take you out with Jonathan Nelson and Purpose with Finish Strong.